a data dashboard are a great way to visualize our data and have a, a great summary of them and it will help us to understand them very easily. When we create models in Revit, at the same time we are creating data too. Some people using uh, export data uh, from the report button in Revit and then they will use it in Excel to create some dashboards. It is great, it can uh, give you some great dashboards. But in this uh, video, we are going to try another alternative and create this dashboard in, uh, in Revit and with usage of Dyna. Let's go. This is Jawad Hamid, the co-founder of Todd Beam. In this channel, we upload weekly tutorials about Revit, Dynamo, and other kind of Beam software. So if you are new, consider subscribing. It will help us a lot to create more videos. And don't forget to activate the notification button, to, uh, notification bell to be the first person who will notify from our latest videos. And don't forget to share it with your friends and colleagues. I said earlier we can do these things with uh, exporting the data to Revit, to Excel and then creating dashboards but linking these two software will be a little bit harder but uh, it will be great if we, can, if we could create these things in live uh, link with the Revit and actually we are creating them in Revit with the usage of Dynamo uh, and it, it is possible with a package that we are going to uh, describe it in this video. Let's go to the screen share and let me show you how to do that. Okay, let's create uh, this great dashboards and useful dashboards in our Revit project. We do the job Revit, Dynamo, and Arc Lab Mandrel uh, package. Okay, let me close this window. We will create this uh, later in this uh, uh, session. And also, let me create this uh, uh, graph. Before that, we, we have the uh, rooms here, and each room has a unique uh, area. So we want to create a data visualization, or we want to create some charts and live charts uh, with these uh, room names and room areas. To do that, you need to have Revit, Dynamo, and another package that you can download uh, for free from here, which is ArcLab Manager. Okay, let me create a new one. And the first step is you need. Uh, the first step is to get the room elements out of Revit. Okay, let's go to the uh, Revit category here, and in selection we have this node, all elements of category, and we also have categories. Let me choose the uh, room category here. Let me choose rooms here and plug this into this. We have all the room elements now and we have 91 rooms in this project okay great let me create uh, get some uh, parameter values we, uh, i want the names and i want the area so we need to use uh, this node get parameter by name get parameter value by name parameter value by name okay this is great Plug this to this one, and for the first one, I need the name. So let me create a code block here, put quotations, and type the name with uh, lowercase and uppercase. It is case sensitive. Okay, this is great. I have the names here. Let me bring it up. I want to duplicate this process for my area. So let me bring it down, or maybe. Like this, and let me change the name parameter to area here. And now we have the areas. Let me put this uh, running mode on the manual because it, it can be uh, time consuming sometimes. Okay, uh, we have the names and we have the areas, but we have a problem here. We have, uh, we want, uh, for example, we have four rooms with office name. We don't want each of them in our charts. We want the total area of offices. Uh, so we have a, a note here that will, uh, that will 
get the unique names here uh, and according to the unique names here or unique key here it will group the numbers to uh, it will group all of the number for offices and it will group all of the number for for example electrical rooms and so on to do that let's go to the list category and in here in organized part we have a, a note here group by key what is the list and what is the key? The list is not our numbers and the keys are these uh, names. Okay, after that, let me see the results here. Let me run it first. You can see if you have some groups. For example, the second group is uh, the, uh, the group for all of the lobbies here. Okay, this is great now. These are the numbers, and I don't. I, and I also want to get the unique keys. For example, I want to just have one lobby here in this list and one office here. So uh, we can get the unique keys from the here. Okay, to do that, let me create a watch note here. Okay, let me get the unique keys here. Let me run it, and now you can see we have just twenty-seven unique keys or unique names. These are the names for our bars. I'm going to keep them here. Let me rename it to names. Okay. And we have the areas here. Another process uh, that uh, we need to do is to sum these uh, groups together. For example, as I said earlier, we need the uh, total area of, for example, lobbies, not uh, each, uh, not separate. A number. So we need to create a simple uh, mass function here, which is sum. Type the sum and uh, create this node here and plug this one to this and run your graph. And you can see we have 27 numbers according to these 27 units. So these are the values here. Let me put it on values. And we have values and we have the names. Okay, these are, uh, these are our data. So let me create a group here for our data extraction. These are our data extraction part that we, uh, we extract the data from our Revit. Let me change the color of it to blue. Okay, this is great. And now we have the data. We can create the chart. But how we can do that? As I said, you need to uh, have uh, Archilab Mandrel package on your Dynamo. In here, we have the charts, image legends, but we are going to work with charts. Uh, we have area charts, bar charts, donut charts, and other kind of charts here. I'm going to use bar charts and donut charts here. Let me go to the bar chart. Uh, first of all, you need to add a chart note here. You can see it wants to uh, input. It is a data and it is a SO. So we need another uh, node, so like data and style here. Let me bring it here. And let me plug the style to this. And we have the data here. Let me plug this to this. But for the data, bar chart data here, we need names and values. The names are uh, have been specified here and also uh, we have the values here but what is the domain domain is a uh, kind of a scale for your chart you can scale your numbers between for example 0 to 1 or uh, it's kind of remapping or uh, range map and also you can uh, create a domain with the uh, exact values i'm going to create a domain with exact values to create a domain here you need another node here, which is, uh, you can find it from here. In this part, you have a domain node. Let me bring it here. We have a domain node here. The first uh, number, I'm going to put the zero for here. And for the last, or, or for the maximum uh, number of my domain, I'm going to extract the maximum uh, maximum number of this uh, list here. To do that, let me type the maximum or max. 
Okay, we need this node, return the maximum value from our list. And then let me bring this to this and plug this to this one. Let me run my uh, graph here. We have the domain here and let me plug the domain to this. Okay, so we have the data for the star. We have some default ones, but uh, for example, we have the color, hover over color. We have the address, margin, width, height, hey, and other parameters that you can search. Uh, you can understand the exact uh, function of them in our club manual uh, website and page. Then on that, and also I'm not going to go to the details here. But I'm just, uh, I just want to rotate the names. So let me create a number here to maybe 30 degree to X2 rotation. You will see the results uh, after creation. So uh, don't worry about that. And let me bring all of this, all of this to here. And here. Okay, we've created our bar chart here. Let me create a group for this one. Let me name it bar chart. And let's create a donut chart. And, le and then we can uh, create a report from these two. Okay, we, are, uh, we need to do the same process for the donut chart too. Let's go to the donut chart part. Bring the chart data and style nodes. Okay, we have the data, we have the style here. Let me put uh, data in, names here, and for the values, our data is correct now. And also you can change the style here too. For example, you can change the hover color to anything you want, or you can choose the range of color for donut chart. But I don't, uh, don't, I'm not going to do any of them. Let me create a group for this. Uh, let me name it Donut Chart. Okay, it is great. And let me change the color of it. We have the charts. Okay, after uh, creating the charts, now you, are, you need to visualize them in uh, some way. You can export to the PDF, you can create a window in. Uh, Revit and other kind of reports you can create in this great package. To do that, you need to go to the report part. You can see you can create a HTML report, PDF, and Windows. Because we are going to create a live connection, I'm going to work with Windows. And from here, you, uh, you need to create two nodes. The first one is create report, and the second one is report window. Okay, let me bring this node to here. Let me uh, adjust this one. Okay, this is the launch window, but before that, because we have two charts, it's kind of, uh, it's like list create node. So click on uh, plus sign here, and now you can assign two charts in one report or in one window. And then you need to plug this one to here. Uh, click on run and uh, wait a little bit to uh, and let Revit to calculate and Dino to calculate all of these graphs and then you can uh, launch your window and you are good to go. Okay, our calculation has finished and then you just need to click on launch window and new window will pop up on your Revit and then you can uh, drag it for example here you can Put it here, let me put it maybe here. And now you can see we have the charts. You can organize this chart and also with hovering over in one inch of them, you can see the uh, you can see more details and also you can zoom in and zoom out with control and your mouse wheel and it is great guys. It is a live dashboard just within Revit and it is a built-in. And you don't need any other software like Excel or something like that. And also the good things are here, you can create a PDF from it too. You just need to go to the reports and use PDF. Now you can see uh, the potential of this uh, package and this method that we can create these kind of great dashboards. 
in our Revit uh, project and we don't need any other software. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. And feel free to ask your questions in the comment section. I will see you on the next session.